everyone, it's Grant Swanson for CreativeCow.net. And I know it's been a while, but that's okay because I have another tutorial for you today. Now this tutorial is actually a follow-up to a blog post, I'll just show you here, that I made like, over a year and a half ago called Anamorphic Lens Flares. And in the post, I basically just compared a lens flare I made using just the native effects inside of After Effects to a lens flare made by a plugin inside of After Effects and the idea was that they were pretty similar and uh, it can just be used to add a little more interest or spice to a shot probably more useful on like a small production like a commercial music video and add something like that and I'll just say right off the bat they're not gonna look amazingly realistic but that's not the point the point is that they look good if you take a movie like the the new Star Trek by J.J. Abrams the lens flares in that movie don't look amazingly realistic. In fact, they look totally fake. But 95% of the people watching the movie aren't going to be thinking, wow, those lens flares look fake. No, they're going to be thinking, wow, those lens flares look good. At least some of them will think that. And by the way, these lens flares are also not going to look as good as the ones in that movie. But for five minutes spent and no money spent, they're going to look pretty darn good. So all this talk, let's just get started. Take our footage, drag it out into a new composition. Just scrub through. We have this guy standing in a parking lot, and there's this light here in the parking lot, and we want to add an anamorphic lens flare to that. So, to do that, come up to the layer menu, choose new adjustment layer. I'll go back up to the effects menu and choose stylize, stylize, glow. And we're going to duplicate the glow effect. I mean, that's interesting, but it's not quite the look we're going for come over to the effects menu we're gonna turn off the second glow effect first thing we're going to do is create the color for the core I'm just gonna have it like be like a nice halfway blue red with the color purplish cyanish um, purplish bluish color somewhat on the gray side there use the B color eyedropper to select it so it's the same color and come up to the glow colors and change that to A and B colors okay and we're going to bring the intensity up just a bit and the threshold up even more. And bring the radius up just a tiny, tiny bit. Okay, and that's our core. Turn that off, on, okay. Now, turn the second instance of glow on. And this time, set it to a nice blue color, like that. And come to the B color and set that to the exact same color. Come to the glow colors and set that to A and B colors. The color looping, by the way, doesn't matter because they're the same color. So it'll go A, B, A, blue, blue, blue. Now here's the key. Come down to glow dimensions and choose horizontal only. And bring the radius way up. Bring the threshold way up and bring the intensity way up until you get something that looks pretty good. Like that, I'd maybe even bring the radius up a little bit more. And actually our shot's pretty desaturated, so I'm going to come back into the colors and just desaturate this blue color by bringing it down toward white. And select that again. And there, though, that blends more, more smoothly with our shot than it did before. So we just scrub through here, you'll see they automatically follow along just like what many plugins do. And again, there are all sorts of plugins. There's Magic Bullet Looks has an anamorphic lens flare effect. Andrew Kramer's optical flares. The Sapphire plugins have one that follows the brightest points. I'm pretty sure Trap Code has one. So, you know, there are all sorts of things, but this, for, again, no money spent and very little work, it creates, you know, it's a decent look. So, with the adjustment layer selected, I'm going to hit T. I already had that hit, actually. And bring the opacity down just to blend it in. Just a little bit. And... To help blend it in even further, we're going to create another adjustment layer and window effects and presets. There it is. And I'm going to type in classic, well, actually, I'm going to type in movie, classic movie look. And again, these are just, I, not again, these are a collection of presets I made available on my blog. Bring the opacity of that down my blog, videoapex.net, a while ago. And I'll just show you here. And these, it comes, I think, I need like five of them for you to follow, for you to follow along with and create. You can use them on your own. You could find them, just Google Grant Swanson presets, and you will likely find them. Adjust the opacity to, you know, something that looks 
looks about right. Right about there, and one last thing we can do. I don't want these lens flares over here to be nearly as intense as this big one up here. So with this selected, I'm going to first zoom out, and second, create a mask around this lens flare, and create another mask around these lens flares. Okay, and hit M, 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 okay. With the first mask selected, I'm just going to feather it out like 15 pixels, just in case I cut off the edges a little bit, and do the same thing on the second one. But on the second one, I'm going to bring the mask opacity down. So now you can see, these lens flares are still there, but they're not nearly as intense as this one. Uh -huh. Okay, there is our effect. Let's do a RAM preview. Okay, and, you know, again, it's not amazingly realistic, but for any small shot, this will help a lot. And it does look pretty decent. Again, my name is Grant Swanson for creativecow.net. Also, check out my blog, videoapex.net. <laughs> and actually, I haven't updated in a long time, but I will soon, so be sure to check that out, and I will see you next time. Thanks.